I'm hearing a rushing stream. Last night in the middle of the night, an older guy in my room woke up having trouble breathing and it sounded like he was having some pretty bad altitude sickness. I spoke with his partner today and uh, he said that he's doing better but they probably won't be able to do what they wanted to today. Anyway, I'm gonna cross, try to cross the glacier today so I gotta find the trail down there. I have to say that was one of the most amazing cabins I've stayed in the entire trip. The, uh, when I first showed up, he said, oh, I don't know if I can give you dinner because we haven't got enough food because you don't have reservations. And I looked at him and I think he realized I was starving. So he accommodated me and they had a really good dinner of like pork and gravy and mashed potatoes and a uh, nice little lemon pie as dessert. They didn't have shower, so I showered in the glacier water that came down in that shower up there. When I left the hut, I was thinking it might be cooler around the ice flows, but um, it's, the sun is out and it's actually pretty warm, so I had to strip down my clothes. Okay, here goes the GoPro. I've never used it before, but I hope it works. God damn it, that was not easy. Okay, well now I see, if I had seen it from below, there is a trail that I could have taken and it would have been a fuck of a lot easier than going up that scree slope. All right, wish me luck. was the old ladder. I am guessing that that old man had to be airlifted out. <laughs> and that's why that helicopter is going in for a landing near the, um, near the refuge. Holy cow. Hope he's okay. Okay, now it's gonna get hot. It's time to uh, change out of my pants and get going down this way to Arola. I'm trying to take the bus to Zermatt today. But today's lunch is much more satisfying than yesterday's lunch. We've got an orange because I asked, I gave back the apple that they gave me because I threw the apple that I got yesterday in the garbage because I, I don't really eat apples. A huge bar of Swiss chocolate and there was a granola bar in there that I ate before I climbed. Swiss cheese and uh, sausage and a big chunk of bread. And they had some really yummy tea there um, that I filled up that bottle with much more satisfied today 
15 francs. Getting into the town of Arola now where I'm gonna try to catch a bus into Sion and then Sion to Visp and then Visp to Saint Nicolas where I can take the train into Zermatt. I'm in Sion and I can't believe how hot it is in the valleys here. It's like 100 degrees. through the town of Zermatt. Um, this is the most overpriced town I think I've ever been in in Europe. I had a really good Italian dinner last night but everything else I just paid 20 francs for lip balm and sunscreen and I just paid almost $20 for some granola bars and chocolate and something to drink and then they charged me for the biodegradable bag. Tomorrow I gotta wake up at 4 a.m. And, and then go up through that pass and then further on up higher. The pass is about almost 11,000 feet higher than most of the peaks in Washington State. So wish me luck. <laughs> 